I said this is the best bugger blood of 2022, but is that true? Hi divers, welcome back to another Two Minute Tuesday. However, I think this will take slightly longer than two minutes. Or quite frankly, it's always taking longer than two minutes. Anyway, I uh, showed you a couple of weeks ago this bug up light, the Security ING DF06, uh, DF08, sorry. Um, and I said this uh, might be, or it is, I find it uh, honestly, uh, it is the best backup light of 2022. And um, I had a number of reasons and I link the video up in the corner so you can watch the video why I found this backup light to be the best backup light of 2022. So after that review, um, my friends from uh, Security ING decided to send me another backup light. So they sent me the DF01, and as a short disclaimer, um, I, I don't get paid for this video. Uh, I just got the light for free to test it out, and I did as usual, uh, but I don't get paid to, to say anything positive. Uh, they produced another one, uh, the DF01. It's slightly more expensive, I think, well, this one comes at around $49, uh, the price raised a little bit uh, after after my video actually, because I think so many people were buying it, so Amazon raised the price. But it was originally like 36 now it's uh, up to $49. Uh, and this one is $69.99 actually on Amazon. If you compare both lights, they are very, very similar. Maybe you can see that the DF01, let me hold it like this, that the DF01 is slightly longer. It's uh, made from the same aluminum alloy. It's extremely durable. Um, so uh, from the outer appearance, I don't see a huge difference. When I look to the numbers, so the old one has a brightness of 1050 lumens, uh, according to the manufacturer. Uh, and this one has 1,500 if you use it with lithium ion batteries. So if you use it with the normal alkaline batteries, it's the same. It's like 950 and 1,050, so you don't really see a difference between. But if you use it with the, uh, with the lithium ion batteries, this is much brighter. It's 1,500 lumens. And according to the manufacturer, the DF08 stays at 950, even if you use it with the lithium ion batteries. However, in my last video, I had the impression that it's, it's slightly brighter with the lithium ion batteries anyway. So, uh, yeah. Um, but just if you look at the numbers, this is brighter and this is maybe the reason why it's a little bit more expensive, I don't know. It's the same weight, I think this one, uh, the DFO8 is like 20 grams heavier, but really, does it really make a difference? No, it makes no difference on the water. The, the beam distance and the beam angle is the same, it's 9 degrees. The beam distance is 320 meters uh, above water. Both lights uh, are fine to for any any uh, underwater adventure you ever dream of you can go maybe there's a little downside on the DF01 uh, because the uh, the nominal depth you can take this one to is 150 meters and this is 200 meters so for most divers it makes no difference if it's true uh, if it's 200 or 150 but there are uh, some technical divers uh, that dive in the range of around 100, 150 meters, and maybe they would rather go with a dive light of 200 meters instead of 150. If you really are the kind of guy that that is uh, going for for like uh, greater depth and technical diving, still. I think 99.9% .9 of the divers, or at least 99% of the dives you do, even if you sometimes go that deep, uh, then still 
99% of the dives you do will be shallower than 150, so you will be good with both lights, no matter what. It's secured by three O-rings. Uh, yeah, you see here, it's three O-rings. Um, and I'm pretty sure, so I don't really see a difference. I'm pretty sure you can take this uh, to deeper than 150 meters. But uh, that's what, what the manufacturer says. The DF08 came with this plastic tube. And this plastic tube is really a smart design. Uh, the plastic tube is suitable to use the battery, uh, to use the light, sorry, to use the light with um, 18650 batteries, lithium batteries. So security ING says that the DF01 can only take three alkaline C cell uh, batteries or two uh, pieces of the 26650 lithium iron batteries, uh, rechargeable batteries. So for the the guys out there uh, of you who want to use rechargeable batteries, and I don't do it for a number of reasons, um, but if you would like to do it, you can still with this light to use the rechargeable ones, but you're limited to the 26650 lithium iron batteries, which is not a bad thing because they have a greater capacity anyway, and the light is much brighter with the um, with the 26650 batteries uh, compared to the alkaline batteries. So let's shortly put everything in. And let me just shortly measure the brightness with the alkaline batteries. Okay, so in one meter of distance at the brightest spot, the DF08, 42,000 lux. Yeah, that's 42,000 lux. Uh, and now just let's see what the other one, the DF01 gets. Yeah, it's brighter. It's even with the alkaline batteries, it is brighter. It has 49,000 lux. So, uh, yeah, it's not much. It's not much. And I think you can't really tell by the naked eye if, if there's a difference, but if I just measure it and I just have the numbers, I think the uh, DF01 is brighter still with the same batteries, the same uh, alkaline C cell batteries. I, I don't see really a big difference between both lights. The only difference is this one can only take the, the C cell batteries, uh, non rechargeable, and the 26650 batteries. The DF08, it can take the C cells, the 26650 batteries, and the uh, 18650 by using the uh, the plastic tube that comes with it. And it has a better depth rating. So, yeah, which one is the best dive light of 2022? Is it still the DFO? I, I tested this as the best dive light uh, before, or do I change my mind after I use the DFO one? Quite frankly, I think I don't change my mind. I think the DF08 is the best one you can get. Uh, it's 30 bucks cheaper. It's not so bright, but in a cave, it's not important that it's super bright uh, because it's so dark in a cave, no matter what brightness the light has, it's always sufficient if you use it as a backup light. So it's not really, uh, a big deal. The burn time is the same. It's um, so the manufacturer gives eight hours as burn time for it. And still, the DF01 is a really, really good backup light. Uh, I, I think it's it's they are so close to each other. I think it's it's at least second uh, uh, the second best backup light. Still, I'm I'm really amazed by how good these lights are uh, for a fraction of the cost the big manufacturers are doing it and they are they are at least as good as the ones from the big manufacturers so no no matter which one of the backup lights you get you won't be disappointed you will get an extremely extremely uh valuable and well working backup light so uh 
yeah, thank you Security ING and I'm really pumped to see more of them, more lights they produce. I know they produce a um, accorded uh, canister light and I'm really, uh, I'm really looking forward to test that canister light out and see how it, it as a really primary light performs. And yeah, you should uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to never miss upcoming videos like the one of the Security ING canister light. See you there.